To get the most out of this video, you should already have an account with Amazon Web Services, have signed up from CloudFormation, be familiar with most AWS services, have experience architecting with AWS, and are somewhat familiar with JSON. In this video, we will be reading a template, creating a stack, monitoring progress, and deleting the stack. But first, what is CloudFormation? AWS CloudFormation enables you to create and delete related AWS resources together as a unit called a stack. You define the characteristics of a stack parameters, mappings, resource properties, and output values using a template, a JSON-compliant text file. You can write your template from scratch or start with one of the example templates we provide. You can use a number of AWS products with AWS CloudFormation, such as Amazon EC2, Amazon RDS, and AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Reading a template. We will be using a WordPress sample stack for this video. Before we jump into creating the stack with the template, let's take a few minutes to read one. If you look through the example WordPress template, you will see six top-level objects. AWS template format version, description, parameters, resources, mappings, and outputs. However, only the resources object is required. The resources object contains the definitions of the AWS resources you want to create with the template. Each resource is listed separately and specifies the properties necessary for creating that particular resource. The resource declaration begins with a string that specifies the logical name for the resource. As you'll see, the logical name can be used to refer to resources within the template. The following resource declaration in the template contains the configuration for the Amazon RDS DB instance, which in this example has the logical name WordPress DB. The ref function can also set a resource's property to the value of another resource. You use the parameters object to declare values that can be passed to the template when you create the stack. A parameter is an effective way to specify sensitive information, such as usernames and passwords, that you don't want to store in the template itself. You'll also find a mappings object. You use mappings to declare conditional values that are evaluated in a similar manner as a switch statement. The template uses mappings to select the correct Amazon machine image for the region and the architecture type for the instance type. Outputs define custom values that are returned by the CFN Describe Stacks command and in the AWS Management Console's Outputs tab after the stack is created. You can use output values to return information from the resources in the stack, such as the URL for a website created in the template. Before you create a stack from a template, you must ensure that all dependent resources that the template requires are available. A template can use or refer to both existing AWS resources and resources declared in the template itself. If your template refers to a dependent resource that does not exist, stack creation will fail. The example WordPress template contains an input parameter, key name, that specifies the key pair used for the EC2 instances created in the autoscaling group declared in the template. The template depends on the user who creates a stack from the template to supply a valid key pair for the key name parameter. If you supply a valid key pair name, the stack will be created. If you don't supply a valid key pair name, the stack will be rolled back. If you don't have an EC2 key pair to use, you must create the key pair in the same region where you're creating the stack. For information on creating a key pair, see Getting an SSH Key Pair in the Amazon EC2 User Guide. Creating a Stack to create the WordPress stack, go to the CloudFormation tab in the AWS Management Console. Click Create New Stack. In the Stack Name box, type a stack name. For this example, use My WP Test Stack. The stack name must not contain spaces. Click Provide a Template URL. In the box below, type or paste the URL for the sample WordPress template and then click Continue. On the Specify Parameters page, in the Operator Email box, Enter an email address where notifications can be sent when CloudWatch alarms and autoscaling events occur. On the Specify Parameters page, you'll recognize the parameters from the parameters object of the template. In the Key Name box, enter the name of a valid Amazon EC2 key pair in the same region you are creating the stack. You may need to scroll down to see key name on the page. When you have the settings the way you want, click Continue, and then click Close. Your stack may take several minutes to create, but you probably don't want to just sit around waiting. If you're like us, you'll want to know the stack creation is going. Monitoring progress. 
After you complete the Create Stack Wizard, AWS CloudFormation begins creating the resources specified in the template. Your new stack, MyWP Test Stack, appears in the list at the top portion of the CloudFormation tab. Its status should be Create in Progress. You can see detailed status for a stack by viewing its events. To view the events for a stack, on the AWS CloudFormation console, select the stack MyWP Test Stack in the list. In the pane below the list, click the Events tab. The Events tab displays each major step in the creation of the stack sorted by the time of each event with the latest events on top. The first event, at the bottom of the event list, is the start of the stack creation process. Next are events that mark the beginning and completion of the creation of each resource. The Create Complete event is logged when the resource is successfully created. When AWS CloudFormation has successfully created the stack, you'll see the following event at the top of the Events tab. If AWS CloudFormation cannot create a resource, it reports a Create Failed event and by default rolls back the stack. When the stack MyWP Test Stack has a status of Create Complete, AWS CloudFormation has finished creating the stack and you can start using its resources. The Sample WordPress stack creates a WordPress website. You can continue with the WordPress setup by running the WordPress installation script. To complete the WordPress installation, on the Outputs tab, in the Install URL row, in the Value column, click the link. The Install URL output value is the URL of the installation script for the WordPress website you created with the stack. On the web page for the WordPress installation, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the WordPress installation. Return to the AWS Management Console. On the Outputs tab, in the Website URL row, in the Value column, click the link. If the web page for the WordPress blog that you created with this stack appears, you have successfully created a WordPress blog using an AWS CloudFormation template. You have completed the AWS CloudFormation Getting Started tasks. To make sure you're not charged for any unwanted services, you can clean up by deleting the stack and its resources. To delete the stack and its resources, on the AWS CloudFormation console, select My WP Test Stack. Click Delete Stack. In the confirmation message that appears, click Yes, Delete. The status for My WP Test Stack changes to Delete in Progress. In the same way you monitored the creation of the stack, you can monitor its deletion by using the Events tab. When AWS CloudFormation completes the deletion of the stack, it removes the stack from the list. Congratulations! You successfully picked a template, created a stack, viewed and used its resources, and deleted the stack and its resources. You can find other templates in the AWS CloudFormation Sample Template Library.